I'm going to talk about how to use this Clickvy brush. For our member of EnjoyingArt.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. The calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes. And the tip is very sharp, so it's very easy to control. I'm going to talk about how to use wet into wet and using this calligraphy brush. So I'm going to take a little color over here. I see that you doing it very carefully, uh, like this. Uh, outline, outline, and try to fill it in, tap, 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 and being very careful. Careful is good. If you're feeling kind of, you have to be careful, that's not good. So like a shape like this, I would like you to make sure you get enough water and have a, enough water in the brush. I would like to, to see how you do it like this. Put it down and moving it. And then think about a shape and moving it up. I would like to see that you have one brush stroke to create a shapes instead of multiple, multiple brush stroke. So let's say I'm going to use this red color, for example, and we'd like to see you to doing it just like this. Push it down and moving it up. And it's supposed to be shaped like this, putting it down and put it down like this and twist it, moving a little up. That's a beautiful shape like a one stroke. And if you try to do this, like a, a, a try to outline it, outline it, a, it's, and a few times, and like this, a little bit unsure like that, and it's not gonna be as pretty as a line that's one sweep of shape. Okay, that's one. Second thing is use the enough water so that it can create a blending of colors. So you have to make enough water into the brush. So I'm going to say, take a look at the catch the shadow. Have a little bit more red, orange color at the top. So I would like to have a little bit more yellow and the red is kind of a little orange color, but also I have a little blue color. So I'm going to mix with this color. And when you do that, make sure you have enough water. Just, just take the water and come in from here. And I'm going to make it a little bit darker because to catch, catch the shadow a little bit darker. Get a little bit red and here you go. Now what I want to do, I'm going to start from here, put it down. And if the cold press texture a little bit more, too much resistant, you can slow down a little bit and like this. But you want, I want you to have more color coming in here over here, more water. If not, it was not going to have a smooth blending. It's very critical. Now I'm going to have a little bit more blue color. Just get the blue color in here. Just add a little blue color. So after you have this blue color, actually I'm going to have a little big red shade blue color with this French outer marine. And that in the catch the shadow. And now I'm going to continue over here. Here you go. Now I have the water coming down and gradually and merge into the shape. But when you do the shape, you can do it, try to do it like a one shape and then connect it over here. Another shape like that. So because of the wet into wet, it will automatically create a very smooth transition from one color turn to the other color. And allow it to gradually, gradually merge together. The second thing here, when the wet paint accumulate at the bottom, you want to actually let go most of the water in your brush, and then you come back over here, try to lift it up, okay? Otherwise, it's going to create texture at the bottom here. It's called back run effect. And then let it dry, it automatically create a very smooth transition for catch the shadow. Okay, like a look at the leaf over there, and you have 
a beautiful yellow color. Now I'm gonna take a look at that. We're gonna have beautiful yellow color and get a little bit more color and have the beautiful yellow color. And then I'm going to put it in, but when you move the color, is try not to draw the outline and, and gradually fill it in. And when you use the whole brush, moving it like this, not a small careful rendering. And you want to get a whole brush into it. And then I'm going to add the red color and try to merge the color in. I'm going to put that in right over here. And there's a one way. And I'm going to have the yellow color back in here. Try to smooth it over. That's one. The other way to do it is just take the yellow color first and lots of lots of water, lots of paint. And you can just take the red color at the tip. You see that? Now you can see the color at the tip has a red color. I'm going to just lay it down over here and actually moving it like that. It will automatically create a very beautiful blending. Also on the other side, if you want to connect to the other side with the yellow and the blue color together, which is you're going to see transitional green color. If you're doing like this, and you can see a nice blending and you can let go of that and have some yellow color and then continue on this side. And now on the other side, you can take the red color. Here you go. And like that. So you have two color blending to each other. So this is the technique, how to use the calligraphy brush to do the maximum effect. And you can do it more expressively or faster. Next, I'm going to show you how to do this painting. For this painting, I'm going to start with painting the shape of the leaf. I first going to wet the space by applying the yellow color. Okay. So apply that over here like that and coming on this side and on this side, a little leaf over here and maybe going a little bit more toward the left side because I know that it's going to have a little bit more catch the shadow on this side on the right. So I'm going to wet the area by having the yellow color and coming like this. Okay. And this is only try to wet it for the purpose. Okay, like that. And coming in, coming up a little bit like that. It's good. And here you go. A little bit more over here. A little bit more coming over here. All right. So this is the shape of the lip. Now I'm going to really painting it by having okay now I'm going to start I'm going to take the yellow color and mix that with a little red I'm making sure I have enough color mix a little red and now I'm going to take a little red at the tip and press a little bit of blue color okay okay a little blue color and with a lot more red so this kind of brown color and the tip. All right. I guess I lost some of the yellow color. So I'm going to start over again. I'm going to take the yellow color, make sure the whole, my whole brush is soaked with the yellow color. And the color, yellow color is not just yellow, a little bit more like a yellow orange color. Now I tip, take a little bit uh, brown color, red brown color. Now I'm going to start over here. Here you go. Now I'm going to put it down like this and moving around. Okay. That is one area. Now I'm going to come into, now I'm going to take more yellow color put with the red. Now I'm going to connect that color all the way coming here. You see that how I push the whole brush down to the paper. So it's going cover a lot of space in the very small amount of time. Okay. Like this. And then coming all the way over here. And now the color is going to get a little bit blue. So I'm going to take this color, the yellow color and take a little bit blue color. I'm going to take the blue color, take the blue color to the tip and blend it a little bit 
So let the color come in into the brush a little bit more. Now I'm going to put that right in here. Now I'm going to do it a little bit slowly because I want the color to sink in. Okay. And I'm going to come to the other side. I'm going to start over here a little bit darker at the bottom. So I'm going to have this coming gradually coming toward the other side like that. You see that the inside a little bit more blue and the outside a little bit less. Okay, coming on this side. Okay. Now I'm going to have also the yellow orange color. I'm going to put it in here, connect that over. Here you go. This is wet into wet process. And coming on this side. Now it's good. Now actually I'm going to blend this color out a little bit. I use the brush here as is moving the color around. And then I'm going to come back here to when this is wet, I'm going to let go some of the wet. Okay, like that. I'm going to take a little bit more of this color and maybe the color can be thicker. Get a little bit more red and get a little bit blue. A little bit blue. So make it a little bit darker. That's good. Now, it's not lots of wet in the brush here because there's an already enough wet in the on the paper. So I'm going to put this in here. This also can drop in. And in that case, the water would bring the color around. So I'm going to looking at the bottom over here. It also needs um, the stem at the bottom over here. I'm going to have this color coming in like this, but it's a lot more darker. Okay, like that. Here you go. And whatever you get, that will be fine. And also on this side, you can drop in a little bit the brown color. Whatever you can do while you're still wet, they're in the wet into wet process. Now have this tip the edge. Now I'm gonna also bring a little bit on the edge. Now just use the small tip like that. And then we'll make a smooth transition inside the edge here. I'm going to add a little bit like this. Here you go. I'm going to draw a very thin line and then it moves together. So I have a very interesting dynamic feeling of edge. Okay. There's some shadow we haven't put it in yet uh, because that is going to be for the second round for the. Uh, uh, wet, wet on drive. I'm gonna put the just painting on the edge by using this click with brush. Yes, you can control how wide the line you want it to be. Okay, like that. That's good. Ooh, that's very good. And I'm gonna come back to uh, do the dry brush a little bit later. Not at this time when it's still wet. Like that. Before I going back to the leaf, I'm gonna walk into the catch the shadow. After the catch the shadow, I'm gonna come back to the leaf to create a form. Right now, the leaf, even though have different colors, but you feeling the leaf is kind of flat. So we're gonna make that into three three dimensional. Now I'm gonna take the red shade blue color, which is French outer marine. I'm going to take this color here, make a little bit more. That's good. Now I'm going to take a little red color and closer to the top has a little bit more red color. I'm going to get a little bit yellow color and mix in here. So more like a little bit brownish. I'm going to take this color, making sure I have enough water. But when you put lots of water in here and it's going to make it look too light. You have to keep adding some pigment into this as well. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So you have a lot of big pile of color. Now I'm going to start from the top over here. You ready? Now I'm going to look for the shape. I'll look for the shape coming over here. And the catch the shadow actually darker than the leaf. Now I'm going to put it down like this. Look for the shape. Here you go. I'm going to come in over here and use the bigger, bigger shape instead of tiny, tiny brush stroke. 
Okay, like this. Okay. You don't have to do it really, really too quick, but you try to do that as a little bit faster, like here. The break, big brush stroke coming over here like that, and put it down and use the broad stroke instead of tiny, tiny stroke. And here you go. Now I'm gonna looking for the shape from here. Now I'm gonna add, only add a little bit red color in this space. And I'm gonna push the red color in here into mixed. You're mixing it right on the paper. Now I'm gonna put the color over here too, right over here. Now these two connect together like that. Now the color should be consistent. Now from here on, I'm gonna start changing the color. And I'm gonna use just a, a Windsor blue green shade color. Get a little bit more like this. Now I'm gonna come in around on the edge. Now the color is going to gradually merge together. I changed the shape a little bit because I don't like the tiny shape right next to this stem. I'm gonna have it come in a little bit like this and have this coming out a little bit. You can modify whatever make you feel more comfortable with the shape. Now here you go, move the wet shade with you. Okay, have it moving around, coming over here. Don't want it to stay there. So now I'm gonna coming over here, gradually coming down. Okay, you don't want it all the way coming down alone. Now I'm gonna move the outside over here, moving out a little bit like that. Okay, now I'm gonna start changing the color. Have a little bit of the Windsor Blue Green shade color mix it into the mixture. Now I'm gonna gradually coming down. Now take a look. Now push it down, watch. And slowly turn, and then a little bit, move it up. Okay, over here too. Now I'm gonna start coming back over here, still wet. Have it connected, coming down like this. And then here you go, moving a little bit, and moving up, so I have a little bit TP TP shape, like that. And now this is good. Now I'm going to just use the two finger, let go all the wet, you know what I'm gonna do, and then lift up this accumulated wet. This is good, right? I'm also going to uh, lift up a little bit over here too, it's a little bit too much. I'm gonna come back to the leaf over here, and I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna take a little blue color, shape it over here, and I'm gonna from here, coming over here, like that, that's good. Now I'm gonna brand the color a little bit over here. Now, big stroke, okay? Don't try to make it too tiny, tiny on, on this side. Coming over here, a little bit more green. Like that, I have a little bit green shade. Don't get into the wet area in the cast shadow because you're gonna make yourself into trouble. And then coming up over here, now I'm gonna change the color a little bit red and a little bit gray instead. I'm gonna put it here and see that color connecting on this side. Now you are having the wet overdrive area and over here, a little bit color over here too. So you can see the form and have been created form like that. Okay. Now I'm gonna use just the water that go up the extra wet and then let it softly blend it to become a nice form, nice transition. And again, let go the wet. And you only can do that after the area dry. Otherwise, when you put the color in here, it's gonna create texture. Mix a little brown color. A little bit warm, like that, that's good. I'm gonna come back over here to actually add a little tiny shape. That's how easy you can have that a little dry brush like that. And a little dry brush over here. And the tip over here, a little bit darker at the edge. Like that. Okay, and I'm gonna have now the color come together very nicely. I'm gonna have a little bit soften the edge over there and have it connected. So I'm gonna have a little brown color. So I add a little bit more yellow. 
a little bit more blue color. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna take this color and pull it a little bit texture over here. Like that, nice texture, okay. And somewhere a little bit wet, this is fine. Like that, and have some nice texture. On the other side, I need to make it a little bit darker. I'm gonna have a little bit of uh, light yellow brown color. I'm gonna put that a little bit darker because the value is suggesting that how the thing's turning. And I'm gonna have a little color like this. So showing a little bit, a little bit shadow on this side. Okay, here you go, that's the shadow. And take a look on this side. I'm gonna have a little bit shadow. And I'm gonna have a little bit uh, green color. And I'm gonna have a little bit of the line in the middle. Like okay, here you go. I'm gonna add a little bit, a little bit shape over here. Like that. And the top over there, doesn't really need a lot. It's a little bit uh, light brown color. There you go. By using this very sharp tip, I'm gonna add a little bit, little bit suggestion color right over there. Okay. And I'm gonna soften that a little bit. That's good. 